Hey guys, today I want to talk about something I talk about every once in a while because it's so important. I talked a long time ago about my whiteboard. It was the thing that actually got me started coming to the Philippines. I wrote everything down in there. I wrote all my notes. I wrote everything down in there. I had everything from start to finish within, I'd say, about two months. All the little notes, everything I needed. And what happened was it was my go-to place. And I liked checking that off because it made me feel successful as I checked each thing off that I was that much closer to my Philippine dream. And when I... When I was doing it, I would always, every so often, have to add something on there. And you kind of feel defeated, you know, when you have to add something on there. But every once in a while, you'd say, okay, so I called these people, so I have to add this, this, and this on there. I got to get this done. I got to um, get some documents or something for my SRV or what have you. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Everybody that comes here is different. Let's face it. We're all different in all the ways that we're going to come here, because some people are coming here on tourist visas, some are coming on SRVs, some guys are going to be married, or they're a fian you know they're going to have a fiance over here, and they can, you know, they'll come over on a tourist, and then then they'll become a um, a ballot buy-in or whatever you want to call it. You know, the, they're going to stay here on, on like the the marriage type visa. I think they call it the ballot buy-in or whatever. And I'm not really up, up on those except for the SRV. And I want to talk about this about the whiteboard so much because. In the past, we've talked about this, and the whiteboard should never, ever go away just because you finished it and you're over here. Actually, when you get here, you're going to have a lot of things that you have to do when you get here. So you should still have your whiteboard. You should never lose your whiteboard. The whiteboard, to me, became something that was I learned was so useful. It was incredible. The whiteboard got me here, and it keeps me here, okay? Because when I run through problems... I say, you know what, I need to do this, 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 and this in order to get through this problem. I'll write those notes down there because whether it be you're going through something and you need to put it on there, put it on there, you know, and say, all right, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to do this week. I need to contact this person to get this done. You know, let's say it's something you need to do in the house or whatever. Whatever it is, you need to keep on top of that stuff. Your budget should be up there. I put my budget up there. My budget's up there. I check it off as I go. Each month, that budget changes for me because some of my financial things, my money that I have coming in the house, I consider the budget to be everything. I know a lot of guys say the budget is whatever it costs to run your house. I agree. That's very, very true. Okay? I'm not arguing about that. But the way I look at the budget, and I kind of changed it for over here because of, of this, and, and, and you should look at your budget a little bit different, I think, is that you should take your budget and pay yourself first, okay? Whether it be for your 70s, you know, when you get older, you know, because you're gonna need more insurance money, put, put a little money aside from your sweet spot budget or whatever, so you, you have that. Put a little minute money aside for, for um, cost of living, because cost of living is going up over here. Cost of living is gonna go up over here. That's a thing that's really, really changing. You know, we've had that change in series that I've been doing this, this, this week, and we're gonna do some more on that soon. And changes are coming. I've noticed a lot of changes over here for the good, but also I think kind of for the bad, but it's kind of bad and good, I'll say. I won't say it's totally bad because I think the economy is growing here. Um, I think it's going to help people. I think it's going to bring people up a little bit. Um, but it kind of leaves us in the lurch because here we are from the United States, and the United States is kind of going backwards, and the Philippines is moving forwards. And I can see a time in the future where maybe the Philippines is way better off than the U.S. is right now. Financially speaking, I could see that happening. It it's it's changing quickly. But anyway, to get back on the onto the whiteboard, you know, put notes up there. People that you have to call, um, things like that. Things you need to do. Your budget, uh, just little, little your little budget notes and stuff like that. You know, this here might change. Um, not sure what this is going to cost. You know, like uh, I need to do this this week. Little. Notes about your laundry, your your garbage day or whatever. You need to remember to put your garbage up. Put those notes up there. When you get up in the morning, you know what? Check it and say, oh, wow, tomorrow's garbage day. I got I to gotta do that. That's where the whiteboard comes in handy. But the whiteboard should never disappear. It's the biggest integral part of coming over here. And it should be your biggest integral part of every day of your life when you're in the Philippines. And don't get rid of your a whiteboard. If you have to buy a new one when you get over here, because obviously you're not going to put it in your your luggage and take it over here because it's so cheap to buy a new one. But buy a, 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 
a size that fits you. I actually have two whiteboards, and I write one. One I throw notes on there, and you can kind of see all my notes on there. And I put all those little notes on there. I put little things on there, you know, like um, little ditties about what what I might do for a, a video or something like that. And those are all my my um, videos that I want to do in the future, and they're, they're, they they cover that board. And I, some of them I don't do. Some of them I erase, and I say, you know what, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do do a, a, something on this one. I'm gonna do something different. And you know this 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 board has helped me considerably, but you know when you guys are getting ready to come over here, <coughs> excuse me, and you're getting ready to come over here, look, go back to my video for the checklist. That'll get you started on it with the checklist. The checklist is going to be, you know, a, a video that I did with both um, Justin and I. The two of us went over the checklist to come over here. And we kind of run down the checklist to get you started because everybody's checklist is going to be different. I can't give you – people have asked me to do a checklist and I had thought about it and then me and Justin come up with that checklist because it kind of it kind of helps people that if you sit there with a whiteboard, it will kind of give you ideas so you can start your whiteboard to get ready to come over here because within about a year or two years before you come here, you should have your whiteboard started. And if you're getting really, really close, you should you should even more so have a whiteboard up there telling you what to do or a, note, a checklist or a sheet or something. And you should carry a little pad with you in your front pocket or, or with you once in a while. And if you if you work at a job where it's kind of quiet and you don't do much or whatever, you know, bring that pad with you. And when you're sitting there thinking during the day, you know, I got to write a note on that. Put that on my whiteboard. You know, put it on that pad. When you get home, put it up on your whiteboard. Just remember that whiteboard was was key to me coming over here it was key to me with the ideas that i had you know about budgets and stuff like that when i started doing the the, the sweet spot budget when i started doing other budgets i the, the ideas when they're popping from my head i was putting them on my whiteboard i was writing notes i was doing things like that you know also like um savings that was one of the things that i have, had up on my whiteboard and i want to talk about this too because this is key and important is this is that you need to put up there for your your startup fund. You need to put up there for your insurance when you first get here because you have to have your insurance. You want to have your startup fund. You also want to have money for your emergency fund. You want to make sure you have all that checked off, ready for when you come here and, and you have it. One of the, the, the things that you should have on there also is notify my bank and my credit cards that I'm going to be in the Philippines, but don't tell them you're moving here. Do not tell them that you're moving here because otherwise some of those bank accounts will shut you down. Credit unions will pretty much let you um, change your address to another country, but I would not do that because you never know. They could change those rules in a heartbeat, and then all of a sudden you're in trouble, you know, and you don't want to do that. Be careful. Double-check things. Talk to people. Talk to your banks. Tell your bank that you're going to be out of town for a long time. Get a good address, an American address with a friend, relative, or what have you. Do not use those... those um, mailbox etc express um or, or any of those things for your address banks know that those are not real addresses because they have a whole bunch of people that have tried that and security companies notify the bank and they say hey guess what you know this guy here has a, an account uh, uh, an address and it's not a true address they'll shut down your account they'll shut down your credit card you know so make sure you have a real address guys god bless guys take care i hope you enjoyed today's show i hope that helps you guys Remember, the whiteboard is key. God bless, guys. Take care.